Okay. Um, we have um, Dia de los Muertos Barbie. Um, Bell, um, Barbie and Ken are on sale on Amazon. They were like $75, I think. And they have her for like $34 at this current time and moment. Oh, my God. Can it go a little easy? Dixie, can you come help me? Help me. Help me. Okay, there it is. My goodness. Oh my God. Is there another box? Yeah. All right. Wow, there's a thick protective panel. Okay. I'll let's get it in. Now, I kept looking at this doll. I have been looking at this particular one because I love her dress. And every time I see her, I think of Jenny Rivera. Yo siempre estoy pensando en Jenny Rivera, la mariposa de barrio. Um, so, yeah, that's what I always think of when I see her dress. And the ponytail. Hi, Jay. Aww. Well, I'm glad you're back, sweetheart. I hope everything is well and you're feeling better. I've been in storage all day, rearranging, going through everything, going through stuff. But I got her on Amazon last night and she was delivered today. Dia de los muertos. A ver, a ver, a ver, como nos vamos a abrir esa cajita. So I love the face of the. Oh, my God. So, I, I can't resist a Barbie doll with a long, thick ponytail. I love pink and purple. Oh, my gosh. Love this, love this, love this. I love the texture of these and everything. Plus, these are what I consider my Halloween Barbies. I have the first edition, Dia de los Muertos, Barbie and Ken. And so, I have, I figure with the ones of these that I have, I can display them in Halloween. Oh my gosh. So the satin is a thick satin. Okay, let's put some more light on the subject. There we go. So I love the dress. It is a thick satin fabric, like a fabric. And this is printed on, it's ironed on. I think it's an iron on decal that you can get. Um, wow, she's got butterfly. Is that butterflies? Yeah, she has mariposas. Tiene mariposas. Tiene muchas mariposas. She has lots and lots of butterflies. So when I saw her, I I been watching her since she came out, and right now with her being like thirty four dollars, which is a huge discount, I could think one of the dress, the butterflies. I I just couldn't stop thinking of Jenny Nevada's dress, um, and I kept thinking about all these butterflies. And La Mariposa de Barrio. So it's like Jenny Vera, La Mariposa de Barrio is kind of like an um, inspiration for Jenny Vera. So now when Halloween comes around, I will have three. I have the first edition Barbie and Ken de los Muertos. I already got tengo esta. So I can display them at Halloween with my few monster high dolls. Oh my gosh. I want to take her out. I can't tape it. I simply can't tape it. Look at that. This is layers. This is layers of tulle. Oh, I can't stand it. Look at the necklace. Look at those thick layers. Beautiful satin dress. Layers of ruffles. Um, it, This Barbie. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Oh, this is embroidery. This is embroidered. For real? Are you kidding? Where are my glasses? We got details. We have details. They're right in front of me. If you want to hide something, put it in clear view. Oh, my God. Look at the embroidery. This is what I love about these dolls. I love the embroidery. Um, I had told my moderators about her last night. And I was like, I don't know. It's like, I kind of want to take and remove the stuff from her face. But now I got her in person. I can't. I love her. I absolutely, She's gorgeous. Oh, my God, Vanessa, you would love this. Now, on this part of the dress, it is 
iron on decal, the ruffle at the bottom. Up here, this is all embroidery. Incredible embroidery. Pixie, stop. Miss Coochie Poo. Miss Coochie Poo. I am going to open her. I did open my first. Well, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do it without scissors. So I can gently put her back in. Where is okay? Hmm. Okay, there it is. We got the arm out. I I like the way the Monami's body looks dress, but I hate the body because it's so unarticulated. I really, that's the only thing I hate about it. I hate the immobility of it. I like the sculpt. Love the sculpt. And the height, very model -less. Oh, wow. Look at all this ruffle. Lots of ruffle. Okay. I'm coming under here. Loosening up the plastic. Hi, thingies. There we go. Loosen them up. There we go. So we can get our foot loose. Foot loose. Okay. I ended up watching both versions of that movie, Foot Loose. I watched the 80s ones, and then I watched, I think it's 80s, and then the one that came out in the 2000s. I liked both versions, actually. I really, yeah, I liked both. And I think what made me watch it was because of, um, okay, Barbie. The, um, TikTok. The, these kids, where the, the original movie was filmed, they did all the dance moves and everything. And the actor from the original movie, Kevin Bacon, would be going there for their prom. And I, I thought that was really awesome. That's really cool. Okay, how do I... Okay, that's... Oh, my God, it's inside her dress. What? Is this thing open? Oh, my God. I don't understand it. Why are new Barbie dolls... Why are these new Barbie things so complicated? Lord have mercy. It's connected inside her jam dress. All right. There. So, um, for those of you in North Carolina, if you're in the Triangle area, there is a doll show this Saturday at the Amron. You can just Google doll show, Raleigh, North Carolina. And it will show up. They have, they had tickets where you could get $2 off the tickets. <sighs> oh. It was like pulling a dead out of the casket. Oh. oh, wow. The hair is silky and pretty. I had to take her out. It was, I just had to because it was the ponytail. I wanted to see how thick it was. Look, if you're going to buy dolls, enjoy them. Mm, that's how thick her ponytail is. Nice hairline. Wow, and it's silky. There is no product. This is nice thick ponytail. She has a fake braid, classic braid crown of butterflies. Tiene un corona de mariposas. Es un tranza de plástico que tiene mariposas pegadito. So what I'm saying is that she has a plastic braid, like a crown of butterflies. It sounds so much prettier in Spanish, doesn't it? No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, she was $75. She's on sale for 30 some dollars right now. Okay. Go into the camera. Oh, my God. Okay, don't take that close yet. You might scare someone. Here, let me see. Cut the light down. Now put your face in the camera. Okay, go in front of me. There she is. Oh, 
I love her lipstick. Yeah, I think I <laughs> Mama made a debut. Well, she's okay. I mean, when we moved here, before we moved here, we had a talk and we just felt more comfortable being with each other. So, you know, we worked out our differences. There she is. She's focused. Yeah, I like it. So originally, I wanted to, um, I told my mom, she said, I really want to get her because I want to play with her. And, um, like, I love the dress, aesthetic, all of this embroidery look. There it is. Look. Oh, my God. You see the threads on the camera. Look at the threading. You can see where it's sewn at the waistline. Look at all of this gorgeous embroidery. Isn't that amazing? Oh, my God. I love it. Now, none of this. This is like iron on a plate. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Her fingernails are painted. Oh, jeez. So, I wanted to take a Q-tip with acetone and remove the paint from her face okay not all of it i didn't want to remove all the paint but i wanted to move um here girl get up in there i wanted to remove the paint from on her nose chin forehead and the ring around her eyes in other words to kind of look like um you know, she's looking glamorous, but without the spookiness to it. Because the thing is this. She's obviously not like, okay, she's not alive, but she's not really representing someone who's dead. And she's representing a holiday. And I don't know what face this is. I'm cute. I don't, I can't make it out. But it's beautiful. It's absolutely a beautiful face. But I want to see what it looks like without all this extra. I can't tape it. I'm going to have to do it. All right. Let me see. Oh, wow. That's sewn on. Okay. I mean, but honestly, right now, for her price, she's very inexpensive. So is Ken. Ken is 29, I think. Oh, snap. Wow, it's two pieces. It's a plastic braid. Oh, great. I lost that. And her butterflies are connected differently. Huh, her butterflies. It's like this. It makes me think of the movie um, Malefic Maleficent. And the little blue fairy, unfortunately, in part two, she just, she's gone. But she has all those little blue butterflies flying around in everyone's face. That's what that reminds me of. Okay, I removed the threads. Oh, my God. I love this hairline. Look at that. I love this hairline on her. Mm, I like her face mold. I love the little baby hairs. Um. Oh, oh, by the way back of the dress so the hair is thick beautiful long ponytail also these have snaps so it does have plastic snaps so this way you can see them see so it's not sewn on her you can remove the dress um these are her high heel shoes oh i like those these are cute oh they're rubbery they're oh wow they're they're like they're rubbery. Why didn't they do that to the legs? Why didn't they make the legs rubber and bending? Yep. Smells fantastic. Just like plastic. Does she have underwear? No, she does not. Okay, girl. Let it breathe. Okay. She has a pink and a gold bracelet. Little gold flower earrings. Oh, my God. She's gorgeous. I, I do. I like her. I really like her, but oh, I, I just love it all. Does anyone know what face mode this is? 
I'm sorry, my mom. Hi, Mike. Um, I, I just think it's beautiful. Oh, my God. I love the gold. Look how the gold is so, like, it's sort of iridescent. It has, like, um, a shine. Metallic. It's metallic. I love the lips. Love the lip color. Um, it's like a peach shimmery. Come on, Zoom. Oh, God. Get in there. So, I don't know. I, I really wanted to see how she would look without the pink and white rings around the eyes. And without the dark brown around the eyes and without the black on the nose. I just think that without that, oh my God, it would just sort of like humanize her a little more. What I mean by that word, she doesn't like, she's really all out with, you know, celebrating a party for, you know, celebrating all the people who've done. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is in her head? Oh Jesus. It's hard as a brick. What in the world? Wow, does anyone else have this doll? Oh my gosh. The head is hard as a brick. Wow, what is in there? Holy crap. Her head is solid hard. It's something in there. The face, you it's it's not squishable. Wow, it's I, I have never encountered a Barbie like this except for the ones that I reroot. My Barbies I reroot. I use hot glue in their heads and stir it, stir it up like their brains and stuff. Look, but it's not, it's not wax. You know, people think those older Barbies have wax in their heads. It's not wax. Uh, I mean, it's not glue. It is wax. It's not glue. It's wax. That's why it's sticky. This is not sticky, but. Yeah, she's hard headed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh, God. Okay, so I'm working on my antique dolls, as you can see. They're the torsos. I took them outside. I got them out. Oh, my God. My cat is inside of this doll's box. Are you really doing this? Yes, she is. Oh, my gosh. I have to. I. Ha oh, my God. This is crazy. As you can see, I have a mess look. The cat is in the doll's top of her box. Oh my God. What am I going to do with you? She's looking. She's expecting me to be mean or like, no. She's like, can I stay in here? Look, now she's looking like, what? Is everything good? Are we good? <laughs> we good, darling. See her beautiful self there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yes, you can see. Mm, yes. You are right. You're good. She's like, I was cleaning. You touched me. You gave me cooties. So I, I play cat. Mm, yeah, we're having. Oh, God. What? No, you can go stay in her box. You can go in Barbie's box. And look what they do. They add Ken in here so you feel like you have to have him. I thought there were two images of him. Oh my god, there's even a smaller ow girl. Basta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, there's a small picture of him there, and then the big picture of him there. So they really want you to get Miss Kinda like it's on a pareja. Oh my god, that's how do Barbie and Ken. You have a couple. They're like a couple. What cooter? Kristen, it's your fault I use that. So, okay, so some of you wonder where I, do I get that expression, that word, like cooter or cooter bail. Um, my child, one of my childhood friends, Kristen, her and her cousin, um, they used to be like sisters. Now they don't really speak at all. But Kristen always went around calling Crystal Cooter. 
She was like, Curtebeo, come here, Curtebeo. So that was where in the when they told me, I was like, oh my God, now you know me. If you know me, if you know me, you know that I'm like, don't do that, don't do that. Because if you if you got a nickname, I am it, it, and if it's funny, it's gonna stick with you. It's gonna stick. So it stuck to her. Cause I still use it to this day. All right. So no, it's not about a body part of a female. It's none of that, all right? It's just a nickname that Crystal had, and it just always stayed and never went away. You know, I started forgetting off topic, but oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I believe Javi does these. Um, let me double check here on the certificate on the back. Moneca Dov, certificate of authenticity, certificate of authenticity. Esto certifica que tu muñeca Barbie, Día de los Muertos, fue creada mediante, mediante el esfuerzo colaborado de diseñadores y artistas de Mattel. The certifies that your Barbie, Día de los Muertos, doll was created through the collabor collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. And see, okay, so I did apply for a position actually two with Mattel, they're hiring. Okay, number one, uh, you know, I thought, why not? I have experience in designing, not with the um, iPad and stuff where you can do it electrically and enjoy, you know, that kind of stuff, but I am with my hands artistically. And I did it as a way of being like, oh, why not, you know? And so the particular position I went for, it's, you play part in designing all dolls. Um, so now at Mattel, there have it's going to be where American Girl, Barbie, Disney Princesses, they're all being designed in the same building. Probably different floors. I'm pretty sure Barbie's on more than one floor. I don't know how that goes. I don't know. Um, I don't ask. I haven't asked any of the designers those questions or anything like that. Um, I'm not that nosy because I feel like there's some things that are okay to ask and some things are just none of your business. And I feel like that's something that's just not curious. So I'm just assuming that, you know, dolls are designed different floors. And then someone will put their tab on this a design and then another one to do it. But I believe Javi designs Dio de, Dio de los Muertos dolls. And he does such an amazing job with the ruffles, with the colors. Stay true to the culture. Um, for me, it, this is just very Jenny Vetta style dress, except without the, except, I don't think Jenny Vetta use, oh my God, I keep seeing her and I want to talk Spanish. But Jenny doesn't use all the ruffles around here, but it, that's what makes her more Barbie. So it gives you a superstar Barbie vibe, but like it's this elegant brunette. Oh my God. What, what can I test it on? Okay. I'm going to test it on her nose. I can't, I can't, I can't stand it. I have to try it. I have to bloody try it. Don't say nothing to me. I'm not looking at comments, Vanessa. I know it took me two hours last night to clean a doll, which I might do a video of it later. I don't know about right now. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to do it on her nose. Oh, it's coming right off the nose. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh my God, that looks good. I did it subtle too, not overwhelming. Okay, so that's how she looks with it, not on her nose. Oh my God, that looks good, right? But Paris is like, no, all right, whatever. Okay, so there, I removed the black off her nose. I like that. I like that.
big deal if if I don't like it. I mean, it. I mean, I can just get another one. Oh wow! It just comes right off. And y'all, this is a what I'm about to tell you is, oh my God, it's so terrible. So with Barbie convention, I heard of Javi, who designs with Barbie, but I did not know what he looked like. So I had no idea what he looks like or nothing like that. And all I know is I see this guy dressed as Ken in the rollerblades and in the outfit. And I just started telling him, I was like, when you go on stage, be real careful. Make sure you practice so you don't fall. And he was like, oh, no, I practice. I practice. Y'all, I'm sitting there telling this man how to do, how to rollerblade. And I didn't know who he was. I had no idea it was Javi from Mattel. <laughs> and I had no idea he was a designer. I didn't know he was a designer from Mattel. I thought he was a Barbie collector. So that tells you how little... I get into, um, you know, I, I don't know much about the designers and I don't really get into, you know, who each and every person is and things like that because I'm, you know, everything I've, I've done with VIE has been basically my world for quite some time and loved it, still do. And so there I am telling him how he should roller skate and practice so we don't fall. Oh, my God. It, it was. And then afterwards, when I found out who he was, I felt so embarrassed. It was kind of like one of those moments where it's like, oh, go ahead, Selena. Why don't you just tell him how to be a doll artist? Tell him how to be a designer as well then. Why isn't you telling him to do this or that? Oh, my goodness. All right, girl, we got to give you some eyebrows. Okay, so there's this side. I'm not worried about that little part. I can fix that. Paris, I already knew you were going to say that. I'm surprised you didn't send me a message about it. I'm not taking all of it off. What face is this? I've never seen this face before. Huh. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew it. Oh my goodness. I was, oh my God. You like, she done snapped off a butterfly in the first snap out of the box, snapped off the butterfly, took off the tip of her nose. Wow. 
Well, I can't help it. It's just that, okay, you know I'm a designer. You know I do this. Uh, not only as a designer, but as a doll artist as well. And I could see so many different aspects about her that really captured my attention. You know what I'm saying? And so I wanted to know what was under there. So it's not like I'm taking everything. I'm not. Oh, I got to retouch the side. That's fine. I can do that. I'm going to give her some eyebrows. Um, let me see this little brush. Okay, I'm going to remove the white. Who is she talking to? Oh, she's on the phone. Her boyfriend. It's just that if you ever design her, this is this is this is your life. This is what you do. Okay, so we didn't remove all the white from over her lip or whatever. It's just that this face mold intrigues me because I don't recognize it. Okay, there she is now. I'm going to fix it. So that's going to be a part two video. Oh my God. It's going to look good. No, I'm not going to send her back. You got to repackage and send it up. No, 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 no. I don't do that. This was a decision I chose to do. So this is not a factory defect or nothing like that. I would not do that. I'm, I'm keeping her. Because I know she's going to look okay when I'm done. Oh, this is going to be an absolutely intriguing part two video. Then I wasn't expecting, so I got what I wanted off. So we removed what I wanted to take off. Oh my God, I like it. So I'm going to clean it up in part, part two video. Um, I'm going to clean it up. We're going to fix our eyes. We're going to give her some eyebrows. And yeah, we're going to, she's going to still look good. I like it. Kind of makes it look Indian in a way. But I like it. But I feel like she should have something. Mm, I like the forehead part. Let me try something else. Oh my God. I I am. I like that look, but I'm taking it off because I don't love it.
Okay, there. So yeah, we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna clean all this up. We're gonna make it look pretty. Definitely. I love her. Um, I love the doll's face. I do not know what face mold this is, but don't worry. We're gonna fix her up. We're gonna make it permanent. We're gonna make it fabulous. Look at that nose. I love her, um, the definition, the face sculpt and everything. Very well defined. Very well defined. So don't worry, we're gonna clean it up. I'm gonna make it look good. I'm gonna do a part video chart part a tart. Oh god, I'm doing English and Spanish mixed together. Don't ask me what language I'm speaking right now. Anyway, I wanted to get a little bit of a look to see what she looked like without some of that stuff. I did, I like it more like this, so I'm totally up for this more of a look. So yeah, I'm up for this. So but we're going to, I will do a part two, and we will, um, in that live, the next live I do, it ain't going to be right now. I'm going to redo the eye, fix the eye over here, and I'm going to add, and then we're going to do her eyebrows and do perfection. All right, so that's that. Anyway, I love the doll. She looks good. I'm going to let her chill because I'm not going to do this in this video. It's been 30 minutes, and if I go ahead and continue to do more and repaint it, it's going to take forever. But, yes, I love her. I'm keeping her. I'm pushing that in a box because I'm going to repaint on her face, and I'm going to enjoy this doll. Most definitely, yes. Totally. Oh, good. This is not in a box anymore. Good. I can leave it like this. So we're going to do a part two where I will be repainting on her face. And we're going to bring that glam. We're going to bring it. And we're going to give it. Yep. I just wanted to have a little bit of a mix where I could see some face. I wanted to see some face. I wanted to see some eyes. I wanted to see definition. I wanted to see the sculpt of the nose and the chin. And I do not know what face mode this is. It could be, it could be one exclusively just for these type dolls. So, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to go for now. That's that. And I have other things to work on because I am going to be exhausted. I'm going to go back to the next store. Bye. I'm ranting. Oh, here. There's my painting. I brought that in. Ta-da. I did bring my painting. That's my painting, my design. I think I did that. Did I do that live? I don't know, but that's my mermaid that I did. So, hope you like her. Yay. Can't believe Vanessa, you said that. That's terrible. I would not do that. Oh, my God.